stabbed in the neck. And when the guy stabbed me in the neck, I was like, I was like, dude, you're dead. You ran. You ran. But being stabbed is no fun. There's a lot of blood, and you don't know whether or not you're going to make it, you know, to the hospital or whatever. It's kind of gory. So, being stabbed is not a lot of fun. Now, I got stabbed with a knife in the neck, but how many of people have been stabbed by a sword? I can't raise my hand on that. Let me show you some swords. I got some swords, you know, I used to do some weapons training and martial arts and, and uh, that's a lot of blade, you know what I mean? That's a, like a lot of blade. That's not just like a little stab in the neck. That's like a whole lot of stab. I got another sword here. I got a few of these things. But the point is, can you imagine, can you imagine... Uh, you know, like 30,000 guys that have swords that want to stab you. Just so you don't think I'm kidding. You're not the only one that has them. I know how to use them too. It's enough of your puffed up ass. You know, I don't know whether to pray or yell and scream. <clears throat> Here we go. I get this uh, comment today. I've been having a lot of problems with my comments. If you see here, I got 20 comments held for review, and I got 20 another 20 comments that says likely spam. Unfortunately, only one is showing up, and it's this uh, Samantha Watchman 888, and she says, "This is a warning from the Lord God to all false prophet hunters that have gone after Jonathan Clegg, who is a messenger of the Lord. You blaspheme the Holy Spirit." If you attribute his message to the devil best to keep your mouth shut do not lead others astray the truth will judge you Jesus is the truth and then it gives a web link a web link no no doubt to her channel or Jonathan's channel now take a look at her channel this poor woman is a Jonathan Cleck freak she has absolutely nothing in the like videos beyond Jonathan Cleck videos. This poor thing is just totally brainwashed. And I don't know how to reach these people. Okay? I mean, look look at it. I mean, every, there's nothing here but Jonathan Cleck videos. She is a total cult member. Now, that said, I don't know what more I can do to try to reach these people. I have done, 
I don't know, going on 40 videos trying to expose Jonathan Clegg and exposing Jonathan Clegg. We've had some success and we've pulled some people out of his grasp and they're appreciative and that's great. And, it, you know, just like the angels are rejoicing in heaven for every one person that's saved, we rejoice too. But we're not getting the best mileage out of our work as I would like to see. So if you guys can help me share these videos, spread these videos, do what you got to do, you know, do playlists, do whatever you got to do to uh, help get this out. Because, you know, these aren't monetized. I don't make any money on this. The only money that this ministry receives is to feed kids. We haven't even had anybody. The last time I got a donation for personal use was somebody brought me, bought me some glasses. These aren't actually the glasses. But at the time, we didn't have an optometrist here. And uh, so somebody took the time to send uh, glasses all the way from the United States. Praise you. You're a wonderful, wonderful human being that did that. But beyond that, we don't get anything uh, beyond money to raise kids now, or feed kids. Um, I just did a video talking about uh, how ignorant Jonathan Clegg followers are. Um, and I'm not going to go into all this, but I'm just going to skim over some of this. Um, basically, it, it was in reference to... Uh, a deal in Matthew and I explained to him you know Jonathan is teaching that they were all serpent seed they were all seed of the devil well you know if that's the case you know he says he says Satan and his minions created man which is a lie which in itself is blasphemy because what is blasphemy giving credit to someone else for what God has done uh, first chapter of John can't be more clear when it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the same was in the beginning with God and it goes on and says that nothing was created that he didn't create. And Jonathan uses that. Well, if you're a contractor and a subcontractor does this or that or whatever, it still means the, the contractor owns what the subcontractor does. Well, you know, the, the thing is, is allegedly, you know, God didn't instruct Satan and his minions to, uh, you know, create anything. Number one, Satan can't create a fruit fly, much less a human being. Okay, but beside the point, um, that's like saying if, if a bunch of people go out and, and get together and fund an abortion clinic, God owns it. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. Clack is a friggin' nutcase. All right? So, I also explained to you that, that you know, Paul solved the mystery in this other video here. Zelling Clack's mystery is no mystery. I, I'm not going to go over all, all the fine details of this, but Paul clearly defines that Jesus Christ is the mystery, all right? Then there's other videos here, examples of how he's twisted the scripture, he's brainwashing his cult, and he's repeating uh, things over and over and over and over and over and over again. I think call, uh, a call for an uprising did a video yesterday, and within the first couple of minutes, he says, you know, it's basically well known that repetition is the key to brainwashing. Well, that's what he does. I mean, how many times have you heard the same crap coming out of his mouth, okay? And he still, to this day, cannot make a video without talking about sex organs. Show me one prophet, one, in the Bible that talked about sex organs like he does. One. You know, I've had it with his perverted ass. You, you know, you people are going to burn. He's got you believing that Satan created human beings. Well, if that's the case, why would they come down here and mate with human beings in Genesis 6 and, and, and corrupt the DNA? If they were created by Satan, what's the point? There's no point, people. Why would they come down here and do it? What they do? Just make a bunch of, uh, you know, sex dolls or something with flesh on or something? Is that, is that what it was all about? You know, just so that they could have a good time? No. What happened is God created the earth and human beings exactly like the Word of God said. The Gospel according to John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, 
which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of him, and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. And Adam had relations with his wife Eve, and she bore Cain exactly like the word of God says. Chapter 4. And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. Okay, understand that if Cain was of the serp serpent, then God never would have said he would accept him because he never would have done it. He never would have accepted something from the devil. He destroyed all the Nephilim, all, all the hybrids in Genesis 6. Why wouldn't, he, why wouldn't he have destroyed Cain if he was of the devil? He's using exactly like Paul said in, the book of, in one of the books of Timothy, that says he's using Jewish fables. I pointed it out over and over and over. I, I've pointed you to, to people that know a lot more about this stuff than I do. But I'm, you know, pretty up on it myself because I've done years and years and years of research. You got one here uh, from Mike Heiser, Serpent Seed Deck Doctrine Smoked by Mike Heiser. PhD, Hebrew scholar, Jonathan, Klein, uh, Jonathan Kleck is a crackhead. He literally bounced and cracked his head. <laughs> Skydive. Boom. You know, it, he's out. He's lost his friggin' mind. And you people that are following him, I've lost your mind too. You know, so don't come onto my channel unless you can prove what you say with Scripture. Because I will eat you alive with the Word of God. Okay? He can't speak a word without twisting and conform, con, converting and conforming the scripture to what Strong's Concordance says, which happens to be an uninspired book. So what are you going to use? You're going to use an inspired book, which is the word of God, or are you going to use an uninspired work to try to def define the word of God? That, do, that makes no sense. So, you know, you, you trolls, keep your asses off my channel. I'm sick of you, and you know what? You keep pushing me, and I'll make five videos a day. I'll flood the internet with this. I've had it, all right? I've got people that are complaining, you know, that they've had bad experiences with clack, you know, demon spirits following them around, freak them out, thinking that clack has put curses on them and everything else. And you know, where the smoke, this fire, because it's a lot of people that have said this so do your homework stop following this jackass Jonathan Kleck he doesn't know what he's talking about and the, the fact that you would believe anything that an alleged fallen angel says is just insanity right off the bat if the devil himself appeared to you would you believe what he said would you believe one word of what the devil said well why would you believe one of his minions okay now I don't know whether Jonathan Kleck is a fallen angel or not. I'm leaning more towards MK Ultra because his dad was U.S. 
military or, or naval intelligence and a, and a psychologist at that and do some research on some of the people that have been involved in MK Ultra. In my opinion, Jonathan fits the bill. But get your ass off my channel. Stop coming on here posting this garbage. I'm pissed off. And if you keep pushing me, I'm going to go for the throat. I've been nice up to this point. But I'm not the guy to mess with when it comes to this stuff. I don't want anybody to burn, just like my Lord doesn't want anybody to burn. And that's another issue. He's saying, you know, Jesus isn't God. He's the Lord God. He's not the Lord. But yet you can find scriptures that calls him the Lord and the Lord God and God in the same exact verse. You guys can't even, don't even have the reading comprehension to read scripture. You have to rely on this crackhead to interpret it for you. With that, hope you repent. And you guys out there that are part of this group, do me a favor, spread this word, word, because I'm, I pretty much had it with people coming onto my channel and uh, pushing this crap. All right, love you, mean it. If I can do anything for you, let me know. Thirty-eight, forty videos, proving it, proving how uh, even the situation here with James Strong says, do not use the strongest in coordinates the way Cleck is using it. Okay? But yet, that goes right over your dumbass heads. I'm pissed off. I've had it. Alright? You want to go to the Mac Collect? We'll go. And talk about a vain show. You little skydive outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of WKRP where Les Nessman was up there and the tur and he th the threw the turkeys out and they were falling and they were <laughs> the people. <laughs> I almost did a video. <laughs> and I think I hear something now. Uh, uh, the crowd is moving out into the parking area. And oh yes, I can see it now. It's a it, it's a helicopter. And it's coming this way. A helicopter. It's flying something behind it. I can't quite make it out. It's a large banner, and it says, uh, from W K R P. What a sight, ladies and gentlemen. What a sight. The copter seems to be circling the parking area now. I guess it's looking for a place to land. No, something just came out of the back of the helicopter. It's, uh, a dark object, uh, perhaps a skydiver, plumbing to, to the earth from only 2,000 feet into the air. The third. There's no parachutes yet. Those can't be skydivers. I can't tell just yet what they are, but... Oh, my God, they're talking! Oh, Johnny, can you get this? Oh, they're crashing to the earth right in front of my eyes! One just went to the windshield of a parked car! running around pushing each other oh my goodness oh the humanity <laughs> it's too much i can't take it Lo love you guys take care god bless you now